Hey, my name is Phil from LegitMarketingReviews.com and in today's video, we're gonna be looking at a social media management platform that has an edge. And that platform's called Radar and in this Radar review, I wanna show you exactly what Radar does, how it actually works and by the end of this video, you should know if Radar is right for you. Now, just to let you know, they are currently having a lifetime deal. So if you wanna avoid monthly subscription costs, I highly recommend checking it out and I've left a link directly to that deal in the description. So first of all, what is Radar? Well, it is a social media management platform. Basically what this allows you to do is schedule all of your social media posts across all of your different platforms. It also has a few unique features like the unified inbox, and that basically gets all of your different inboxes across all of your social channels and puts it into one easy place where you can switch between and look at all of your messages as a whole. And it also has brand mentions. So you basically put in your brand title as a keyword and it's gonna search the internet for different conversations people are using about your brand and it's gonna let you know what they're saying. So Radar is really powerful. What I'm actually gonna do right now is jump behind the screen and show you how it works. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna start here on the Radar website. What I wanna do quickly is just go across all of the features in case I miss out on some during this product review. So if we come to the features tab right here and we scroll down, you will see there is everything from having your own workspaces where you can switch between different brands. You've also got your scheduler, your social inbox, which actually is the unified inbox. We've also got social monitoring, which is basically the brand awareness tool. You also have analytics, collaboration, a task management, Manager, a password vault, which is basically replacing all those password vaults you need on the internet, as well as a URL shortener. So this tool really puts together a lot of other tools on the internet and puts it into one. It is very cool. These guys have just launched as well, so it's really exciting to see where they're going in the future. Now, just before I get into the product review also, I just wanna show you the normal pricing in case you miss out on the lifetime deal. Basically, you can get started for free. Um, you can get three social profiles, 30 posts, per month you can use the url shortener and the client collaboration for free if you want to go on the medium plan you can have six social profiles unlimited posts and the social inbox and you can also look at everything else apart from the monitoring which is the brand awareness type tool and if you wanted more profiles it's just an extra dollar per month right so it's really good uh, pricing and then finally, if you wanna get the social monitoring, you're gonna go ahead and get the professional plan, which is 20 a month, and you can get 12 profiles. However, if you wanna save big time on subscription costs, once again, go to the link in the description, which is going to take you to the lifetime deal. And if we scroll down, these are the terms you are actually going to get. You are going to get 30 social media profiles, unlimited posts, nine monitoring queries, as well as a bunch of other stuff inside of here as well. And then then you can also stack the codes to actually get more workspaces. So that's the lifetime deal. It's amazing considering uh, how much you actually get for it. So if you wanna go ahead, check it out. Once again, go ahead and check the link. Okay, so this is my radar dashboard. Now I have only connected uh, YouTube to Radar at the moment. I had actually connected a bunch of other channels, but I had to remove them. Reason being is you would see all my private messages on my social networks, so I had to remove them. But basically, it will show you all the different notifications you get in here. So just a quick tour of Radar. On the left here, we have Overview, which is this page. This is what you're gonna see when you first log in. We have here also main channels. Now, if you have purchased one code, you will only have one workspace. If you purchase more, you can also have your additional workspaces inside of here. Now. If we go to the inbox, this is where you are going to see all your unified messages from all your different channels. Monitoring, once again, is when you go into the brand awareness type module where you can put in your brand keywords and search the internet for people talking about it. Scheduling, as it sounds, you can schedule posts. Analytics is gonna show you how your posts are doing. Passbook is where you have all your different uh, passwords kept. Then we've got some utility settings and all these other different bits and pieces. So let's go through each individual section and show you how it works. So first of all, let's start with the inbox. This is going to be your unified inbox where all of your different accounts are connected. Now, if you look on the left here, you can see we have all of the different sources. We've got Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Vimeo. And we've got the different types of messages as well. So you can filter through them whichever uh, uh, sort of messages you're looking for. Now, as you can see, these are all just my YouTube messages. You can see there is a little YouTube icon with little um, little notification number next to it. So this is all you're gonna see. The reason I've left YouTube here is it's public anyway, so it's completely fine. 
So what you can do is simply click on conversations that have been had on uh, your different channels. Now this one is going to be comments, so it is going to be the back and forth from the comments of that particular video. And as you can see, I've been replying and things like that. Now I'm not 100% sure if it is going to reply on YouTube. I haven't actually tested it. I should have done it, but I ran out of time before I shot this video. Um, but but you can still see regardless the conversations that are going on in here. It's really good because if you think you've missed out on something, I always miss out on uh, messages. You can check everything inside of one dashboard. So that's basically it. Um, if you had Facebook here, obviously it'll show you all the different pages. Same with Instagram and Twitter. And it's really nice because if you did get the lifetime deal, you get 30 social profiles. So you could have like 10 different Instagram accounts in one sort of uh, radar workspace, if that makes sense. So you can see all of the different inboxes just from one dashboard. It's actually really amazing. Um, so I'm really excited to connect all of my Instagram accounts to it as I have many. Next, we're going to go into the monitoring, and this is where you can actually put in your query for your brand. As you can see, I've actually just typed in the legit marketing reviews one. It is going to take some time to process, so I can't show you any results just right now. But if I was to say check tomorrow, it would give me a list of what people have been talking about. There's probably not much out there anyway, as not many people would be searching my brand. However, it is handy if you have got a popular brand or popular brand name because you can see exactly what people are doing. Perfect also for clients because it shows them that you've got an extra bit of uh, information that they probably wouldn't be able to get otherwise. It's a very cool feature. And I know a lot of people pay a lot of money just to get this feature alone. So it's, it's really cool. Next is scheduling. As it sounds, it's very easy to do. As you can see, I've already played around with it. So I'll show you how you would create a new post. Basically at the bottom left here, you've got a little um, sort of like a little plane, a little paper plane. And you can either export all your posts, you can stop all your posts, confirm all your posts. These are perfect in case of emergencies. For example, if something went out on the internet and you needed to stop all posts instantly, you could press stop all. Confirm all is also perfect if you have a social media team or people working for you because um, then they can put the post in draft and then you can confirm them all. And if you wanted to create a new post yourself, just click on new post and choose the date where you want it to publish. So let's just say I wanted to publish something um, at uh one minute past three i could go ahead and click on add and it's going to go start up a new draft and let's just say i wanted to get an image i'll just download one from here this looks pretty good so i'll go ahead download this and schedule it so we have it here down there now i'll just quickly drop it into radar like so now this is a huge image so it'll be interesting to see how fast it loads wow that loaded really quick that's like a six megabit file so that's cool so that's done you can throw in a caption um, so this could be this is a new tool i've been playing around with and then maybe i just want to post it to my personal facebook um, i'm going to go ahead click on approve and now this should be good to go now what i'm going to do is it's a few minutes away from posting so i'm going to keep going through the tools and then i'm going to come back and show you the actual post so if we go to next to analytics it's going to go ahead and load once again, you'll get a tour when you first get started. It's going to just teach you everything you need to know. But inside here, you can actually create your own analytical dashboards, right? So it's really cool because you cut out all the fluff of the things you don't need. Choose the ones that you do. So what I've done here is actually just have an overview of all my different conversations. As you can see, these are the amount of messages I get inside my channels. So if I click on plus, you can see we have um, all these different widgets we can choose. So if you want to choose them specific to the social media, you can. If you want to choose it based on monitoring or publishing, you can also. But basically choose the one you want, click on add, and then it's going to start collecting data. It is going to take, uh, this last one took about five minutes to actually go back and gather all the information. So just come back, give it a few minutes, and it should start populating. For this particular one, it looks like no one's been talking about my brand. Um, so that's a bit of a down buzz for me. <laughs> Next, we'll go to Passbook. Now, Passbook looks quite interesting if you have a lot of passwords written down this is the perfect place for it basically what you do is create a master password which i've already done and then once you get into your um once you get into your dashboard you can actually start adding in passwords so i'm just going to call this the youtube test i'm going to click on add i personally would put in like an email account or i put in like a you know whatever instagram account or facebook account whatever it might be and i'll call the name that right so i'll just turn off this tour 
and I'll call this maybe Instagram um, and I'll call it, you know, whatever my handle is. So say I am for Wilson. Here's the password. I'm going to leave it obviously not show you, um, but you can put in the passwords, click on save. And then what's going to happen is in Passbook, if you go back, you're going to have this password here. Now, every time you want to go into it, you are going to have to type in the um, password to get in. But once you've done it once, you're in. And you can also click safe exit, which is going to lock all your passwords once again. Now, the great thing about the passbook feature is you have a mobile app for radar as well. So not only can you publish and do all these other things inside of it, but you can look at all of the passwords inside of your phone, right? So it keeps everything nice and neat because it's like an extra layer of security. Plus, you get to keep your passwords with you everywhere you go. Next, we have utilities. Now, inside utilities, we've got a link shortener. So as you can see, I've already tested it out. I put in my website address. It came out with the short link. So I'll add another one in there just to show you again. So I'm just going to say uh, HTTPS. I'll just put radar.io. And then I'll just go ahead and click add. Now, as you can see, it is going to go ahead and create a short link for Radar. So this short link now is going to go to Radar. And every time it gets clicked, you're going to see it inside of here. There's also a QR code if you want to use it. And you can also um, copy and edit it and visit it yourself and all those types of things. This is one of these tools, I believe, that's going to grow over time as well. Um, this is like the very beginning of it, I guess you could say. You can also add a custom domain if you wish as well. And then finally, we've got things like settings, tasks, which you can actually create tasks inside of here. It's sort of like a Kanban board. So I'm just going to call this the um, YouTube checklist, right? Click on add. And now inside this task list, you can add in all of the tasks that you want to use. So we've got here the Kanban. We've got to do, doing, done, and new list. And you can go ahead and choose different uh, tasks as well. This is just the YouTube checklist. So it's really cool. So that is basically Radar. At the top, we also have uh, what's new. They're constantly updating things. We've also got notifications, appearance, create a support ticket. There's a guided tour if you need it, and there's also language switching. But what I'm going to do right now is jump behind the camera once again. I just want to talk about a few extra things. Okay, so that is Radar. Now, as you can see, they do have a few features that really make this software stand out. Having the ability to have the unified inbox for multiple social media channels will save you so much time. I know it's going to save me a load in the future. And then as well as having the brand mentions ability as well. Being able to see what people are saying about your brand all over the internet is simply incredible. And then of, of course, on top, you have the social scheduling. So that is Radar. Once again, I think it is a great tool. They are in their infant stages. They're going to get so much bigger over time. But if you want to get in while it's young, while it's early, and while they have a lifetime deal, make sure you use the link in the description. It's going to take you directly to that deal. And apart from that, I hope you have enjoyed this Radar review. If you did, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button to stay updated for all the next videos coming out. But that's it from me. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one.